today on Be Something Wonderful, instant reality shifting technique that will blow your mind. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video for you today. I wanna to start with a comment on one of my older videos, maybe a year or two ago, where I talk about a technique to instantly shift identities or realities. And I called this the 007 double agent technique. And one of you left a lovely comment, uh, I think earlier this morning, and that's why this video is coming out a little later because this all came together this morning uh, on that video. And so I thought this is a great time because I, I want to share with you a dream I had, two dreams actually, over the last few days. And if you notice, I had a cold over the last few days, right? It's gone and I'll share that with you as well. And, and there, so as I was meditating, as I was in a state akin to sleep, imagining wonderful things as always, and uh, I fell asleep and I'm dreaming, I, this dream I'm having a conversation with my higher self the real me, right? The infinite self. And it, it was a figure, but it, you couldn't really see it. It was a light figure. You know, you could see a shadow there, some sort of figure. And we weren't exchanging words so much uh, out loud. It was, it was more of thoughts, right? Exchanging thoughts. And, and, part, and one of my comments in, in this cold, what's this all about? <laughs> this isn't a dream, right? And, and so he goes, well, you know better than that. That's part, of the, that's part of the cover. That's part of the 3D cover. In other words, to make you, he goes, you, you have a cold. You're even believing that you have a cold. You're even believing in it now. It, but it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to appear real. That's part of your 3D cover. Otherwise, you're going to blow your cover. You're going to blow the, the game's over when it doesn't appear real, when it doesn't appear like it's really solid, that you're really suffering with a cold or whatever is going on in your 3D reality. This was the conversation. Think of the power here. This is powerful because it relates to this comment <laughs> that was on, on the channel. And then I, I dreamed about a few other things and then, and then got up and, and you know, got up the next morning, still had a cold, but fell asleep the next night, right? Had a dream. And it was a short dream, I believe, in linear time. I don't know. Who knows, right? And, and, and it was with my higher self again. And I go, in this cold? And, and my higher self said, what cold? And then I woke up. The cold was gone. <laughs> it was absolutely gone, right? From, from, from the night before, watery eyes still seizing, absolutely gone. And so powerful it, it, it just, of course, the experience lasted over a few days, but that's part of the cover. That's part of the 3D experience. Don't, don't you get, it does, it's supposed to appear real and solid and hard to change and that you're actually having that experience. Otherwise, the game's over. It's like going into a movie. If the thing didn't seem real, if those special effects weren't so special, we'd walk out of the movie. But it's all knowing who you really are, right? That knowing that you are this infinite being, but you're a 007 double agent, right? You, you're pretending to be something else, but if you, if you in, in part of the reality of it is if you didn't have it, if it didn't feel real, then you'd blow your cover, right? So we're gonna talk about these ideas today and more. Remember, your higher self, the real you, the infinite you, that limitless, multi-dimensional personality is knowing itself experientially through the physical you. It's all part of the cover. It's all part of the game. You're going to blow your cover otherwise, right? Wanting and desiring, just like I wanted and desired that cold to be over, <laughs> is the physical 3D world you, translation of that divine urge of the real infinite limitless you to know and contemplate itself as all that is or source. That's what that wanting and desiring is. It's that divine urge of you as that limitless being to know itself. It's all part of the game. It's all part of the cover to know yourself as source. It's an act of love, 
right? Source knowing itself, all that is moving upon itself, contemplating itself. It's not a sign of lack. It's not a sign of weakness, right? It's not a cry for help. None of that. You're not, you're not manifesting incorrectly or creating reality in a bad way. It's all part of it. It's all a limit. It's all a, it, what looks like a limited experience is a limitless experience of that limit, unlimited you which I've been talking about the last few days. This all ties in today. So this is powerful. It's divine love knowing itself as divine love. There's no why. There are no conditions. There's no why to love. There's no why to gratitude. There's no conditions on it. We love because he first loved us in 1 John 19. And it, love makes the first move. That, that's it, that you desiring and wanting is your infinite self saying to you, I made the first move, here I am. Do you see it? Join me, here I am, join me. It's an act of love, it's an act of fulfillment, it's an act of gratitude and appreciation as, for you and as you. That's why love, gratitude, appreciation is always the first move to moving, shifting to your ideal version or identity and reality. Right, it's feeling love and gratitude for whatever you're experiencing. Knowing that you can shift instantly to what you want, no matter what is going on. Do you see it when you feel that gratitude and love for all realities? When you allow all experiences to be there, right? It's not meant to be a sign or demonstration of lack or non-fulfillment. It's, sim it's simply a, an experience that appears limited, but it's a limitless experience within that limitless, infinite you. It's all a demonstration of who you really are. So there you are, the infinite, multidimensional, real you, I am, all identities, all realities, all superimposed one over another. In other words, you're all of those identities. As a double agent, as a double seven agent, you're all those identities. But they're superimposed one over another and you have this physical perspective, this 3D world perspective. This, you have your current cover, right? As that infinite being, as that double O infinite agent. That 3D, you have a certain perspective or viewpoint or identity as all that is. That double O seven agent cover. Desiring and wanting, what you call desiring and wanting is that spillover. That's that overlapping of identities and realities. You're not, you're not meant to stay, to desire, to have desiring and wanting from lack, but from love from fulfillment, from knowing that you're, you're greater than all of these identities. Do you see it? That's the difference. Your greater identity is saying, here I am. That's what desiring and wanting is. It's spillovers. It's overlapping of, of identities that you already are in right now. And they're saying, here I am. Come on. <laughs> What's taking you so long? In other words, you are already that which you want to be and your refusal to believe it is the only reason you do not see it. Neville got it. Everyone talks about this quote. I think most coaches have talked about this. But remember, what's Neville saying here? Your refusal to feel it as the love and gratitude and appreciation of your source is the only reason you don't see it. Right? Remember, feeling is believing, but what we're, we're not talking about a temporary emotion of, grat, of, of, of being grateful on a conditional basis or, or or any temporary 3D emotion. We're talking about that greater state of being of love and gratitude and appreciation for being that infinite being, that 007 agent, that double agent that's under a cover right now, right? Your refusal to feel it as the love and gratitude and appreciation of your source is the only reason you don't see it. Feeling is believing, right? So wanting and desiring is the proof evidence and sign from the infinite you that you are already that ideal version identity. Feeling is believing, right? So when you're feeling that desiring and feeling that wanting, it, it, as you feel that from love and gratitude, appreciation of that infinite you, well, now you're, you're feeling that ideal identity. But when you translate that through a false thought of I am not, it feels like lack, non-fulfillment and separation. A false thought of I am not, right? Remember, it's a cover. You are all of those identities under a 3D cover. So, so however, when you accept, when, in, in other words, when you believe the cover, 
when you believe the cold, when you believe the experiences, right? We're, we're supposed to remember it's part of the experience, but also having that experience with the knowing that we're much greater than that. Do you see it? However, when you accept, acknowledge, and allow yourself to be all possible identities or realities with the true thought of I am, you feel the love and gratitude and appreciation of your true nature and immediately move to that ideal version of reality that you want and desire. Love the game. Love the double O agent, the, the 007, double O agent, double O seven double agent game. Love it all, right? That's powerful. Remember, love, gratitude, and appreciation are more than 3D world physical emotions, right? They are your true nature or state of being as source. Energy and motion is source energy, right? So when, that's why Neville got it, says this. When I speak of feeling, I do not mean emotion, but the acceptance of the fact that it is fulfilled. That's powerful. In other words, your wanting and desiring is the evidence and proof, the fact, in other words, your wish is fulfilled and you're already that which you desire to be. That's what the wanting and desiring is. It's evidence of that. Right? Unless you're looking at it from lack and non-fulfillment, right? Not wanting and desiring from, a, it's not the wanting or desiring from the small, limited 3D world me, right? That cover, that cover as a double agent, but, but as a divine urge from that infinite you to know yourself experientially through the physical world you. Very powerful, very big. So. Wanting and desiring as source in the infinite you means accepting all realities, all identities, all possibilities, all thoughts, feelings, and conditions to be. Accepting them, allowing them to be. And feeling your true nature of love and gratitude and appreciation while choosing who you are and what you want now. In other words, what's going to be your cover now? Do you see it? You're all identities. But you could, your true nature is greater than all of them. Allow all those identities to exist, all possibilities. Who, so acceptance is not resignation. It's not resigning to go, oh, okay, I gotta just accept this. It, you're choosing it with love and gratitude and appreciation. It's the knowing or acknowledgement that you are all identities and realities and infinitely greater than any single experience as source. Wow, so powerful. This gives you the dominion over all conditions and absolute creative control to be, to be any possibility at will. In other words, any identity at will. Wow, that's powerful. Know that any reality or identity you are experiencing right now is not evidence of lack and limitation, but rather proof and demonstration of your absolute limitlessness in the infinite real you, that identity. Wow, right? Every conception of yourself in reality is God, Godding. Source, knowing itself, contemplating itself through you and as you, right? Any thought or feeling less than that, you're robbing God. Do you see it? This is what Neville Goddard gets at in his teachings, right? Every conception is God. Every identity is God. If your conception of yourself is less than that which you claim as true of God, you have robbed God. Neville got it. Do you see it? So all, remember, God is all possibilities, all conceptions. But whatever you conceive yourself to be, whatever that identity underneath that, behind that, is your true identity as that one source, as that one love, as that one light, as that one and only reality. I am, I am awareness. That's powerful. So release the wanting and desiring thoughts and feelings of that false identity of being small, limited and lack and separate from all that you want and desire. That robs you of your true nature, right? It's just a cover. It's just a cover, release that. Release believing that that's who you are, right? Knowing that you're more than that. So, and this is what they say in John 1840. So they cried out again saying, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Remember when they, were, they had captured Jesus and during Passover, they would release a prisoner. 
And Pontius Pilate said, is it Jesus of Nazareth or Barabbas, the robber? And they, they screamed, Barabbas, Barabbas, release Barabbas. Release the robber. Not the wanting and desiring from, from the infinite unlimited you, I am awareness, right? Not Jesus of Nazareth, not that I am awareness, but the fake or false identity who's wanting and desiring from lack and limitation, the robber. Do you see it? See your wanting and desiring as the real you and the 3D world you focusing together or choosing together what identity and reality to experience next. Think of it that way, that your wanting and desiring is you and your infinite you choosing together, wanting and desiring together to experience some other perspective, vantage point, or view of reality or of you. Another identity. Adds that identity, that's all identities. That's powerful today. So the 007, the 007 double agent technique. Remember, you, you're not here in the 3D world, the physical experience, to blow your cover. The real infinite limitless you is this. Then as you imagine, assume, affirm from being all identities, all realities, you affirm a specific identity, right? Close your eyes, get in a relaxed state. It could be a state akin to sleep or a state just above that, right? An alpha state where you're, where you're just relaxed. And imagine, assume, and affirm what identity, reality that you want to occupy. Create a very simple scene. See, it could be your friends congratulating you. It could be, it could be you holding hands with someone that you really love. It could be any of those things. Imagine, assume, and affirm from being that identity, right? But imagine it that, from, that you're all identities. Do you see this? Right? As you're in that physical experience, that's why Jesus said, see that you tell no one, but go away and move. See, see, that you, he go, see that you tell no one, but go your way. Jesus says that, right? Tell, after he would perform a miracle or heal someone, see that you tell no one, but go your way. So don't tell, you don't have to tell anyone. Have fun pretending, playing the game. Don't blow your cover. In other words, see all the people, events, and circumstances as part of that new identity. See that new identity that you're imagining to be, the, see the 3D you as the cover, right? Don't blow your cover. Know that you're more than that. And then you can imagine, assume, and affirm, and take on any identity that you desire, any reality that you desire to occupy, knowing that you're all of them. Do you see the power here? And so the whole idea of the 3D experience is to immerse yourself in different identities, realities, to make it so real that you even fool yourself. Do you see it? So you're here, it does feel solid and real, the physical experience. But as you imagine, as you affirm any specific identity, know that you're all identities. Know that you're all realities. Know that you exist in all of them. Know that you are that infinite 007 agent. That is, that is all realities. That's all beingness, the real you. But you can imagine any identity and then have that physical experience. But know that the physical experience is the cover. And it, it's supposed to feel real. It's supposed to feel solid and, and immovable, right? We get caught in that, right? Even the idea of manifesting or creating something, creating reality, even the techniques that all of us teach, that's part of the cover. Do you see it? that frustration you feel sometimes when things are hot and cold or, or you manifest something but you don't manifest something out. Things seem big, they, some desires seem big, some seem small. That's all part of the cover. You're, you're, you're all those realities now. You don't have to wait. There's nothing big or small or harder or easier. That's all part of it. All the techniques, all the things that, all the visualizations, all of the affirming is all part of a cover, right? Yeah, you experience different manifestations, different identities, but who you really are is all of them. Do you see the, the power here? When you know this, you, you have absolute dominion now. You manifest, but you manifest from that higher knowing. Not from here trying to imagine and assume and affirm something. Right? And, and feeling that frustration that, okay, I manifest a text message or I didn't get a text message or I manifested my SP giving me a compliment. Right? You can do that stuff. You can certainly create those. You're an infinite being. Of course you can. 
Of course you can manifest things. You're a natural manifester, a natural shifter. You're shifting all the time. But from that infinite self, now, now you know that, that you're doing it from that greater identity. You know that this 3D cover, whatever you choose to experience, is just a cover. Right? And, and when it starts feeling real, when the circumstances start coming down on you, when it's feeling really solid, then, you're, then, you're, then you know that you're really, you're really into that identity. That's part of the game. But it's always to know that you're greater than it. Right? It's all part of that physical identity to immerse yourself. So remember, your true identity is the real you wanting and desiring to play the game as a 007 double agent. The physical 3D you is its cover. You, real you, needed to make it the hologram or the 3D you in the world to appear so real. Otherwise, your cover is blown and the game is over. The game is over. It's, it, if it doesn't appear real, if it doesn't appear solid, if it doesn't appear continuous, if you don't have the experience of linear time, if you don't have the experience of waiting, even though waiting, waiting doesn't exist really, right? We create that idea. Then, then you blow the cover, you blow the game. It's like a, going to a movie and then focusing in all the things that went together to create the movie. Think, seeing, it's like seeing the actors not you know, creating the scenes. You're there to know if the special effects in a movie weren't good, weren't so special, then you'd walk out of the movie. It, oh, it seems fake. And so you don't enjoy the movie. We're here to enjoy the 3D experience. It's here. We're here to feel it so real that even we forget from time to time that it's just a movie, it's just a dream, it's just a game, it's just a cover. Do you see the idea? You'd walk out of a movie if it, if it started seeing fake. It blows, it, 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 it destroys the whole experience. That's what you're here for. This is why you can make an instant reality shift with this, right? Knowing, remember, like the conversation I had with my higher self in my dream, that this is just a cover. So imagine anything and then be that in that moment. Know that you have instantly shifted to that reality in that moment. You don't look out there for the evidence, right? Your wanting and desiring is the evidence that you're already that. That is the spillover from that reality. It is, the, it is the overlapping of that identity that already exists. So there's nothing you need to do to get there. You just got to declare that you are it. That's your identity. And then look at all of people, events, and circumstances, and thoughts, and feelings as part of that from that new identity. If they feel, if they feel heavy and, and, and negative, that's part of the cover. See it all as that, and then you, 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 you're walking above it all while still being able to play the game and enjoy it. That's powerful. That's instant reality shifting technique that will blow your mind. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful Studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen for being part of the membership channel. If you're a member, thank you for joining. If you're not, check it out. There's a link below. We just released a big video on the membership channel a few days ago and we have our fourth live stream this year. In April, I'll be announcing it hopefully over the next couple of days. You can see that. If, and remember, you can send your questions and comments and topics that you want to talk about to info at besomethingwonderful.com. So if you're a member, join us. If you're not, check it out. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.